on up, I would like to now welcome on stage for outstanding contribution to cinema, Stephen Woolley and Elizabeth Coulson. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you were sort of in the minority in that you knew you were going to win this award. You could prepare a speech. They, they all knew we were going to win as well. <laughs> yes. How long, how long did it take you to write this speech then, knowing that you had all this time? Oh, I don't know. I think speech preparation might not be the best thing. I think maybe spontaneity is better, right? Because you get so fixated on it and then you want to rewrite it and then you don't want to thank everyone, but you want to thank everyone. And, but yeah, I don't no, know. It took but, us, is, we knew a couple of months ago, I think I wrote the speech every morning walking to work. <laughs> it took me an hour to walk to work and I rewrote it every morning. Yeah. So um, by the time the Bill's, um, Bill's introduction was so um, was, heartwarming yeah. and moving that we, uh, I got a bit stymied so I wasn't quite as relaxed on stage as I would hope it hope to be. I was sent into a stupor with all the phrase. Yeah. <laughs> How gratifying is it to be recognised for your work when you're possibly not always sort of front and centre? Yeah, we're invisible usually. It's usually other people's egos. So it's nice to have a little bit of ego stroking yeah. um, every now and again. But um, to be honest, we work, we're collaborators. Film is a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Tonight's about honoring individuals, but really, you know, every single movie is a mixture. It's like a recipe. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a director and a writer and cast and crew and the editors and everybody sort of contributes. So we don't really make McDonald's. So we, um, we make different films every time. Mm -hmm. So it's lovely that we finally, you know, someone says, oh, we saw them all back to back and it's great, thank you. And so we're very thrilled but to have won. I think also, you know, you just get your head down and you do your job and you just, people will say to you after the fact, didn't you know, but you don't know. And it was very cool to be here tonight at the start, see people like Richard E. Grant. I mean, I remember when that script was around a long, long time ago. I remember when The Favourite was around in a different incarnation at, what well, before it was even with the BFI at the UKFC and... You know, that's what makes it so completely addictive, is it's such a, you just don't know what's gonna happen. You all set out to make a great film and one that resonates, but it doesn't always work that way. And it's thrilling when it does, and it's thrilling when you get recognized for your efforts, the good and the bad. <laughs> when you look back over your career so far, are there any seminal moments that really stand out for you? Um, so many, really. Yeah. Um, obviously, the success of The Crying Game was something that was unpredictable um, and, and had no idea would, that would work and the Company of Wolves was also and you know um, so many moments really when both of us sort you know either together or on our own sort of um, things just happen as we say it's it's a very unpredictable world I mean I, I there were lots of people we wanted to thank and one of the people that inspired me was a guy called Howard Koch who was a film producer an old Hollywood film producer and he said, I'd still keep making movies. He was in his 90s because cinema, it's just always a different animal. Actually, in his 80s, I think. And it is true. We, you know, similar moments are there all the time. You know, every movie you make is a different adventure. I can see everybody's really watching the other winners. <laughs> I'm like you. Who's I'm wondering who else yeah, is one. Who else is one? What did? For ah, cinematography. Oh, I'm so great. I'm, I'm pleased so about that. Foreign. Yeah, I think this year in particular, I mean, it's sort of a seminal moment because I think, I was just saying to someone, you know, like, I'm not saying we're at the end of the road yet, but obviously we've been around for a while. And it used to be that you were around for a while and it was a young people's game and it was sort of over. But what's so exciting for us is we really are, and I think it still is the dawn of a technological revolution. Mm -hmm. And so there are so many different ways of telling stories, so many different outlets for those stories to be seen, and so many different types of stories that are being told. And that really, I mean, when I look at The Crying Game now that was made 26 years ago, I realize just how groundbreaking that was. But now you look at tonight and you think it's really quite extraordinary. And that's very exciting for us to think that all of this talent out there from all of the different places around the world and from places that were the margins that are now coming into the center, it's great. It's, it's fantastic. Well, congratulations again, thank and thank you so much for joining us. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs>